Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing this hat since I'm throwing major shade. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a story time video and this video is well overdue This is gonna be a video about how I went to VDCon NYC in October And for those of you guys who don't know the background story, it's pretty shady what went down And if you guys think that this video is going to be like a rant or a shade video towards VDCon itself It is not. It's actually going to be about the events leading up to VDCon So without further ado, let's just get right into the video So for those of you guys who aren't familiar with Beauty con. It's basically like a beauty convention where there's different beauty products, different beauty brands, there's beauty gurus that you can get to meet, and pretty much they have one in LA, they have one in Texas, I think they have one overseas in London, and they also have one in New York City. And New York City, this is a closer location for me, and that's the one I've always wanted to go to, as well as the LA one, but if I could get to any of them, it would be NYC. And this past fall, I had the amazing opportunity of going. I won tickets for BeautyCon on BeautyCon's Instagram site. If you guys didn't know they do have giveaways for their beauty con i ended up winning a pair of tickets for the beauty con nyc which i was really excited for throughout the months leading up to beauty con they're having weekly giveaways in which you just have to do certain things in order to win tickets the first time that i entered i had to do like my favorite fall snack i didn't end up winning that one but i ended up winning the competition for who would be your favorite beauty hero to meet at BeautyCon? And I put La Demi. I have wanted to meet La Demi since 2014 when I started following her. Um, I've grown to love her so much. She actually follows me on all my social platforms and like just to meet her would have been the highlight of my day. Um, so I'm really excited that I got to win tickets to BeautyCon for putting her as like my entry. And the person that I will be talking about in this video will remain nameless, but this person was without a doubt the wrong person to take with me on this trip. So number one, um, the reason why I invited this person with me to BeautyCon was because they had just gotten a newfound love for beauty and makeup and I was like this is probably the perfect opportunity for them to get some tips about makeup in general and just to meet different people, go to some seminars, just to learn more about the beauty community as a whole. I'll be able to invite them, we'll have fun, like this will be perfect. Big mistake, okay? So first off, the the tickets that I won, I think I knew that I was winning them in August for BeautyCon, so I was well aware that I was going to BeautyCon in August. Um, and so I told this person that I won tickets because we were gonna buy them originally, but I was like, well, I mean, if we can win them, why not try? And so pretty much I won tickets. I was like, you can go with me, we'll be all set. So I had thought that I did my part, you know, I got us free tickets, and it wasn't like the basic tickets, it was the meet and greet tickets. So we had three options to meet three different people, which was gonna be amazing like I feel like for me I did my part in getting us there this person all they had to contribute was the driving and not just saying like they would have to pay for gas and everything I was fine with paying for gas all of that they just had to basically they just had to give their car up I didn't have my car on campus and this is gonna be in October right around the time of school everything on my end was on the table I thought so I thought wrong fast forward to a few weeks in September I randomly get a text saying that this person didn't want to put mileage on their car and that we needed to rent a car. If you guys don't know, I'm a college student. I work part time. I don't have a lot of money. I'm not really sure where this person was going with this idea. And the person I was going with was older than me. They had a full time job, two jobs actually. They are definitely more fortunate and able to spend money on a rental car if they wanted to. Secondly, this was something sporadic, like random. It's not like they had a bad car. They actually just had a new Buick. So like the issue for me was, first of all, I'm a college student. Where are we getting a money to rent a car? For, like where and thirdly why would we rent a car when your car is in perfectly great condition for us to take up there like why would we spend money on something that we don't need to do so we kept going back and forth we were gonna be like okay well maybe we should take a bus in New York I was basically looking for different options because I had no interest at all to rent a car this person was going back and forth with me the main reason why they wanted to get a rental is because they didn't want to put mileage on it and they didn't want to park their car in New York City I mean, that's not my problem, but anyways, fast forward, we end up deciding to just take the person's car because that was the best option. We're gonna take your car because you have a functioning car and we'll just pay and split gas and tolls and everything. So we thought that was, that was gonna be the deal. Okay, fast forward to the week of BeautyCon. 
When I know that there's an event coming up, I like to plan for it. So I already had my outfit. Bought this long, like, long silhouette um, romper-ish dress type thing from Forever 21. I was going to use this bralette thing that I've seen on Desi Perkins. And so I just bought a backup clothes, which I'm so happy that I did. Because based on what's going to happen next, I needed them. We plan to leave for New York early in the morning. I'm talking like 3 or 4 a.m. Just so that we could be there on time and we wouldn't have to deal with traffic. Because BeautyCon was on a Saturday. And... New York traffic is pretty crazy. So the person that I went to wanted to get her hair done. Something went wrong with that whole process. She ended up pushing her hair appointment back to like later on in the evening, the day before BeautyCon. Pretty much she didn't get done with her hair until 1 a.m. in the morning. She texted me and she was like, okay, so we're just gonna leave at six in the morning because I wanna get a few hours of sleep before we drive up there. And I was like, okay, that should be fine as long as we are there before the event starts. It started between nine and 11 a.m. And so I wanted to be there on time for checkout. We were gonna get a free goodie bag and like we we're gonna get to meet the curators and everything like that. So I wanted to be there on time just in case any traffic or anything happened. You guys, when I say we didn't get on the road until 9.30, no matter how much traffic there was there was no way we would have gotten to BeautyCon on time leaving at 9 30. our drive to new york was two hours so regardless of traffic or any of that because we left so late we would not have been there on time at all regardless of any factor at this point i don't even want to go like i'm already aggravated as it is because we're late like i got us free tickets all we had to do was be there on time and you couldn't do this one simple thing so all the car ride up I go to sleep, but she needed directions to get there, and instead of using her phone, she had to use my phone. My only complaint was that my phone was already cracked at that point, and she kept dropping it all over her car. You guys, I was getting so pissed off. Okay, even though my phone's already cracked, doesn't mean you get to drop it all over the car. So that's why I just had to go to sleep. We get to Beautycon, I want to say around 12.30, 1 o'clock. And that was around the time that everybody else was checking in. That's where all the regular people were going to be checking in. And of course, because we left so late, there obviously was no parking. When I say that she didn't want to park on the street, I thought she was just saying that. She was serious about not parking on the street. There were so many spaces right next to the venue for BeautyCon where we could have easily just parked on the street. So she pulls up to the parking garage and the guy's like, okay, sorry, like this is full. We have no more space. So she tells me that I need to find a parking garage because she's not parking on the street. I thought this was so ridiculous because like if we were on time, there probably would have been parking for us. So we ended up finding a parking garage 30 minutes away from the venue and she didn't want to take a taxi or anything to get there so what we had to do was walk yes yes i said it we had to walk 30 minutes to beauty con oh my gosh i was wearing heels i had a long dress on and being that we are two young adults two young females in new york why would we walk why we were getting cat called it wasn't like a great weather day either it was pretty gloomy outside so like the weather was just a no my hair had been straightened i had my makeup all set like everything was perfect so we're walking in horrible weather we're getting cat called and it's a long 30 minute walk i don't even think it was halfway i think after five minutes of walking i took my shoes off and i just put them in my bag and i switched onto these like slide in sneakers that i had my hair sweated out my dress is ruined from the weather like everything Thing was just horrible so immediately when we get there i automatically changed out of my clothes i put my hair up into a ponytail usually when you go to like beauty conventions or like just beauty things in general you want to look like on point and like the fact that i had to change my outfit the fact that my hair was a mess i had like low self-esteem like you see girls like full out glam and i'm here with some coach slides on and a, and a dress like really that is not cute at all i was so pissed off you guys don't understand i was just like you know what at least my face is beat we go into like security and like we go through everything and i'm asking like where our free bags and stuff are so i get the free bags which i'll show you guys it's filled with so many goodies inside of here but i'll talk more about that later this is the box that i got from beautycon it says beautycon nyc on the front of it and then if you open it up there's these wristbands so we have the social package which means we got to meet the different curators it's ripped because once you put it on it breaks and then also in the box it just says hey beauty and stuff like that a pamphlet for beautycon it has a beautycon pendant and there's also this so on beauty comp thing yeah. 
separate myself. She goes off and does her own thing. I go off and do my own thing. And so then I start asking questions because I already knew that we missed the first meet and greet. So the meet and greets that I had set up for BeautyCon was Pixie Wu. I wanted to meet them really bad. I also had up I Love Sarah E. If you guys don't know her, it's Karen Gonzalez. And I also had Tila for my meet and greets. I missed Pixie Wu. And then Sarah E was still there, even though she was about to leave. So I was able to chat with her a little bit. She's so nice, guys. She's so sweet. She had just recently did her Selena look, and I was like telling her all about that. She put me on her Snapchat. I've ever met and she also signed my bag so if you guys can see right there she signed it, it says Sarah E and then after going to her I got into Tila's line Tila's line was really really long and like although I didn't want to wait in it I wanted to see her anyways because Tila is just the best and I got to talk with her mom and everything she actually ended up putting me in her vlog I was on her snapchat I was like hope you guys are staying cool She's just, she's really a nice person um, and I'm just so happy for all the success she's been having. And then after I was done meeting them, I got out of line and then I head into the venue. So that whole time, I spent I think like an hour outside just waiting in line to meet them. I didn't spend one dime at BeautyCon. Everything was free. I had so many products in my bag. I was basically just like going around, looking at the different companies they had. They had so many different ones, meeting different people. I got to meet Mac Daddy, or if you guys don't know, Angel Marino. He is so nice. So I didn't even plan on it. I missed meeting Shayla. Him and Shayla had the same meet and greet option. So I got in line for Mac Daddy, and I go over to him, and I'm like, hi, Mac Daddy. Can you give me some tip, like helping with the T-zone area? Because I was like telling him my T-zone area is very oily. And he told me about different products to try. He takes my phone, and he's like doing like pictures of my Snapchat. He was so sweet. Honestly, I love him a lot. I got to meet Mr. K. I like called her over and she's like, what's up? What's up? And then I was like, can I take a picture with you? She's like, oh, sure. I got to meet Sham Booty. Um, for Sham Booty, I had a filter on my screen because I was doing all my pictures on Snapchat. Because she dropped my phone so many times around the car, my camera wasn't working. So when I was doing my meet and greets, all my pictures were coming out blurry. So I was taking like them on my Snapchat because the front camera worked. And for Sham Booty, when I took her picture, um, she's like, oh, I see you had that filter on there, girl. And I was like, yes but she was so sweet i actually know her sister her sister's a trainer so i was just talking with her about like dietitian and everything like that i also got to meet latoya legit when latoya came out because there was like a stair balcony thing where like basically all the curators and everybody that's like on youtube was at so like they would come down the stairs and you could see them coming down so when she was coming downstairs oh my gosh all of the black girls just like swarmed at her and like her husband adam like had to help her out but like she was actually coming up and taking pictures with all of us, which was really sweet. But I also got to see Mac Barbie 07. Built it on her own. And I found that really amazing because I'm really sad I didn't get to see Colleen Diaz because I know she was there. Natalie Paris, I'm not sure if she actually showed up, but I wanted to meet her. Nazanin, I wanted to meet her, but I don't think I saw her at all. So yeah, those are some of the people that were there. I went to a lot of different boobs. You would stand in line for certain things, but like it was fine. And like when you wanted to get products and stuff, all you had to do was like either follow them on Instagram or something like that. So like or like their Facebook page. So like the products, that's all you had to do to get certain items like it was pretty simple like people were giving you tips on stuff like that oh, and then there was also like a lot of different seminars going on and there was a lot of panels I wanted to see La Demi and I knew she was gonna have a panel and so I made the mistake by getting out of line 
because I thought she was going on at that time, but it was actually Mac Barbie 07, but it was still fine. So I got to see her panel. Justine Sky was there. She had a panel. There was a lot of different people that had panels, so I got to watch a few of them. And then finally, I got to see La Demi's panel. This was like a big panel. There's a lot of big celebrities on this one. So I had sat on the floor, um, like just in the middle of the floor in the aisle, like just to see her um, thing. And then all of a sudden, this girl got up. And so like I ended up sitting in the same row as her and her mom and Nico, which is so exciting. Pretty much she comes out and then she walked like right past me and then she was sitting on like the panel thing and all I kept doing was I like, kept waving at her. I was like, what oh, Tammy? Like I just kept waving at her and like everyone was everyone was looking at me like Dude, you don't see them having a panel discussion right now. Like, why are you yelling? And then towards the end of the panel, they were doing questionnaires. She pointed at me and she's like, I want you to answer a question, but I, I never did. The panel ended and she went off to the side, followed her there, and oh my gosh, I'm so... And so then she comes over to me and I was like, oh my gosh, hi. Like, I love you so much. She knew me by name, which I was just like oh my gosh and so she was like asking me like how far of a drive was she thought i had come from la i was telling her like no i didn't come from la i just drove and she was like oh my gosh that's so sweet of you she's like let's take a picture we took a picture she was on my snapchat for a little bit hey guys i'm here at beauty Con with my favorite ever hannah i love hannah so much thank you for oh my god so nice seeing somebody that you actually admire she ended up putting me in one of her Instagram posts like honestly let if you ever see this I love you and thank you so much for making BeautyCon one of the greatest experiences. And like, although BeautyCon was ending, I just kept getting in lines because I was trying to get as much product as I possibly could before it was all over. So we were just doing like all that and then finally we ended up leaving and the walk back was probably the worst thing of my life. So she thought that I had taken down the address for the parking garage, which, okay, I can understand how you might think I've taken it down, but just in case I didn't, maybe you should have taken the address down too i put in the wrong address for my gps like we it ended up being someplace like totally different like than what it was it was like we went to like several parking garages in that day trying to find a place so it was like a different parking garage and then our phone started dying we had to go to subway to wait for our phone to charge and like it was getting dark we are in new york we're two young girls we have bags in our hands like really finally we get back into the parking garage guys i finally made it back to the car after a 30 minute walk and like I had been done, I had it. And so it was coming to the point where like we were gonna split money for like gas and everything. I wanted to wait to the end of the day just so that we knew how much we were paying for everything. So she told me like how much she wanted to split. I was like, okay, I'll pay for this. I'll help you pay for the tolls. Uh, anything else that we needed to have paid for. So I paid her money up front. It was like, here you go. This should cover everything. So we're driving back. I had fallen asleep again because I just had a headache from that whole day. Although it was like a really great experience. Like it was just a really stressful day in general. So she looks at me she's like okay do you have the other amount of gas money for the rest of the tank and i was like what are you talking about i already paid you in advance like you should be all set the thing that i didn't understand was that her tank wasn't even empty like i don't understand what we were filling it up for again but anyways so i was just like okay here's five more dollars like i don't know what you're gonna do after that but like i've already paid you in advance she ends up dropping me back off and I had forgotten stuff in her car and so she had to come back to come get me and I was just like bye and like that was that was probably the last time I've actually spoken to this person since BeautyCon which is kind of bad but whatever so overall that was just my whole BeautyCon experience let me know down below in the comment section if this has ever happened to you or if you guys have been to BeautyCon let me know your experience and who you guys met at BeautyCon it was a great experience I really do look forward to doing it again I hopefully want to go to the one in LA yeah so like overall I'm just really excited that I won tickets to go and that I got to experience it. Thank you BeautyCon for doing giveaways in general just to allow people to go because tickets are not cheap and although like my outfit didn't work out it was still a great time so yes that pretty much completes this story time. Give a like if you guys enjoyed this and you want to have more story time videos like this one. Until next time I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! You know what you like. I'm the only one that ever should.